About half a million Arab Americans live in our state, the majority in southeastern Michigan, which is home to one of the largest and most diverse communities really in the United States. Dearborn is one of those communities, and that's why we spent a week there talking to business owners and college students, hairdressers. We wanted to hear their stories, and this time we took an entirely different approach. Instead of using our typical news cameras, we brought our iPhone, hoping people would feel more comfortable talking about sometimes difficult subjects. Just because I have something on my head and you don't doesn't mean I'm any different than you, you know? I'm afraid somebody is going to assault me or somebody's going to ver verbally assault me or put me down in a way that I probably, you know, can't handle. It's it represents who I am. Yes, on the out on the outside, but not on the inside. I am a person just like you and I, you know. What is it like to be Muslim in America, Arab in America? Uh, listen, I, I don't talk about religion. I, I, when I come to this country, absolutely I want to forget religion. Whatever, when I, when I pray, I pray home. When you hear someone say Muslim in America, what does that mean to you? That's why we came to America. Why? Why are you going to ask? You're, it doesn't matter, right? You're saying it doesn't listen, matter. Listen, let me tell you one thing. We believe Jesus is a prophet 100%. Like Muhammad, same thing. We we believe when we anybody mention Jesus, we say alayhi salam. Peace in Jesus. Muslim like everybody is. You know, what's the difference? You have to respect everybody's religion. Many, many religions down here. Nobody asks you what your religion. Nobody. It's personal. They ask you how your personal is. If I, I never ask you, uh, just now I meet you about five minutes ago. Do I ask you what your religion? No. Okay then. People do ask me though. Uh, they are stupid. Right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say yeah. that, yeah. but they are not normal. It's fascinating that a lot of, you know, like our parents, I feel like that generation, they came over in search of a better life and now you have all these young women doing the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of like the circle of life. I mean, yeah, it started, like I said, back in the 60s, people were fleeing here, but then it's still happening today where people will come here just for a better education. Um, and a lot of the times they stay here. And even though they pick up a little more than they have over there, they just feel that, you know what, I can be an Arab American in Dearborn, Michigan and not feel like I've branched totally away from my roots. What about when you go into other areas that aren't as diverse? Personally, from, from personal experience, I've never had a problem. Um, my mom wears a scarf. I do feel like she's looked at a little bit differently when she's outside. In the what area. way? What have you seen? Um, just stares. Um, like people feel like maybe she doesn't belong there. Like, why are you here? Just you know, little things. Um, but it does get a little uncomfortable for her sometimes. Does that upset you? It does upset me. Because I would because. It's just a part of a religion. Everybody has something they believe in, and it just, the fact that people judge us by that, it's, it's pretty, it is pretty hurtful. What does that mean to you when I say being Muslim in America? Islam is, uh, is everything in your heart. And you think people misunderstand what it what it really Absolutely. means? Absolutely, they misunderstood about the whole situation, what Islam is. Being a Muslim is like, you don't have to be 100% all religious. You don't have to wear a headscarf. You don't have to cover up all your skin to be considered a Muslim. You just have to be modest. You know, respect yourself and respect your body. Respect, like, who's around you, you know? Like, you give respect to people and they're going to give it back to you, you know? It's just about humanity and love and peace. 
That's exactly what it is. It's 276 religion on earth and one God. So believe whoever you believe, as long as you respect me, you my sister. And look, we know there is so much ground to cover here. And really, this is just the beginning of a series of stories that we are working to bring you throughout the summer. I'm sure an interesting week in Dearborn. I know that's not the only place you're going to visit. Right. That's just the beginning. You know, uh, we know we're going to be spending some time in Hamtramck, Sterling Heights and West Bloomfield. We've got a lot of areas we want to cover. We should point out too, all of the interviews that you just saw, none of those were set up. It was all impromptu. Yeah. We just walked right up to people and just had those casual conversations, like eliciting those responses. Well, so. and they talked about respect, getting along, community, the same things right. everybody talks about. Exactly. Yeah.